we are going to be tying a little pattern called a zonker. The pattern is named after the material that you use on this fly. If you're unfamiliar with zonker, <clears throat> it's nothing but very narrow strips of the hide with the fur attached. And it comes in all kinds of colors. It also, you can buy zonker with all kinds of critter hide. And I wanted to show you some of the varieties that, that we have and maybe explain a little bit about their use. I'm going to start over here with mink. And I don't know if you can see this, but this undercoat of mink is so super, super thick. If you would tie one of these with mink, you would probably have to put on some kind of a, a very heavy uh, dumbbell eye or something, because that that stuff will not sink. It's, it's so water repellent with that under fur that it, it won't sink. But it is a beautiful material. And uh, if you have something you want to stay on the top of the water with a little tail on it, that, that mink would be the, the cat's meat. So mink is, is one. One I have used a lot is called pine squirrel. This is, I use this uh, for a, a little zonker that I make on a probably a size 10 hook. Ray Atkinson uses it extensively with an articulated pattern. Uh, sometime we might try that. It, it takes some time, but this is very, very, it's not nearly as bulky as the, the rabbit. You can tell that it's a lot finer, so it lends itself to a smaller pattern. Uh, but it's a, it comes in all colors as well. It's beautiful stuff. The two middle uh, examples up here, I call it large. If you notice how wide that is at the base, it's about a quarter of an inch thick. This kind of stuff you'd probably be using for tarpon or musky or some kind of a pattern that uses a lot more fur. You need something bigger. But... <clears throat> It's, it's, I just call this large rabbit. Again, it comes in all kinds of colors. I call this regular or standard. If you can see the stem on here is probably about an eighth of an inch. And I wanted to show you uh, the hide on this zonker. If you're going to buy it, uh, you might want to kind of look at it. I'm going to try and show you, and John, if you can catch this or not. But can you see how... Wait, wait, wait. Can you see how thick the hide is here? I mean, it's really, really thick. It works fine on zonker. And I'm going to tie one with thicker hide and show you what I do. I keep a little sharp pin knife, and I get rid of, of this stuff. And then with my pin knife, I kind of, kind of shave that thinner so it doesn't create as much bulk at the tie-in spot. But you'll see this, this thicker stuff as compared to... Here's some other rabbit zonker. This is about half as thick as the, the, the white that I just showed you. Okay? Now, you notice all four of these patterns here, those are all cut from the hide. If you picture a rabbit and you've got the, the head and the ears, it's, it, those zonkers are cut from the front to the back of the body. And all that fur lean straight back, okay? And that's the kind of material we're using for this particular fly. Take a look at this last one. This is called cross cut. And if you think of that, that rabbit again, if you have the hide out in front of you, they cut from left to right. And all that fur... <laughs> You're moving to it. <laughs> see, all this, see all this fur? Notice how it's all leaning back. It was on the hide uh, probably this way, and it was cut sideways. And you use this, it really comes in handy if you're trying to use zonker to beef up the body of your fly, and you're wrapping it down the shank, all that fur lays back, and you can get a beautiful full body with your cross cut. That's what it's designed for, wrapping around the hook shank. So uh, I thought that might be of interest to you, different kinds of zonker. 
And it's important to know the difference between what the, the straight cut zonker and the cross cut is. They both have uh, separate purposes. You would have a tough time taking a straight cut and wrapping that down the hook. You're constantly trying to pull it back over and it's always going to want to stand straight up. But with the cross cut, it just automatically lays back the way you want it. Because it makes a difference which way you put it on the hook, too. You don't want to put it on backwards because it's all going to lay forward. But uh, that's a little bit of information on, uh, on Zonker. Uh, and we have some in stock. We have some uh, pine. The pine squirrel is a, it's a pretty stuff. And we have some rabbit Zonker up there as well. I've got some examples here. You can kind of move those up and down the line. Uh, we have more of some material. We don't have much of the orange, not much of the white. So I'm going to be using some of the material we have the most of today. But uh, it's not really expensive. You can find it in a lot of fly shops. Most fly shops are going to have some kind of zonker. But let's tie one. Uh, I've got to, we've got to get reset.